question or doing this word question, are you happy? When I got asked this question at the moment, I didn't really know what to say, and it was really stressful. So I'm going to come back to that question. My junior year, I met this amazing man right here, Chris Cognac, officer of Hawthorne City. He gave a presentation in my forensics class, and after class, I met with him, and he asked me to come out the following week, Thursday, to meet him outside of his work and where he volunteered at a sex health program. Um, I didn't really know much about the program at the time, but once I got out there, I found out it's like it's just a way for the community to come together in a safe place for kids to play soccer. And so he sat me down on the side and he asked me the question, are you happy? And I was like, why the heck is he asking me this? Why? Like, why does it matter? And when he asked, I thought about it and I was like, no, I'm not. And I told him, I was like, no, I'm not happy. And so then he went into it and he asked, why is it? And I mentioned to him how I had lost my support system that year, my junior year. My uncle moved away and he was the one who was constantly checking up on me, making sure I was doing my homework assignments and so on. So then he offered to mentor me. And at first I was a little hesitant, but he asked me to email him whether it was if I did want to get mentored or if this. And so I did the opposite. I made a PowerPoint. <laughs> I made a PowerPoint of um, why I wanted him to mentor me. I wrote things I hated about myself. I wrote things, my reflection of who I was, who I wanted to be, and why is it the way I am. And I'm just kidding, because there's some personal stuff on there. <laughs> After being accepted um, into this mentorship relationship, the adventures began. At the beginning, it was a very slow process trying to get to know him and his family, because he had a son the same age as me. And at the beginning, it was just adventures, and we got to go on a few trips. So I come from a low-income community in which, like, literally, I've only been in my city, and that's the only place I've been. We have not, never gone out. So he took me for my first hockey game, first time ever seeing hockey, very exciting, as David Busters had never been there. First time junior year. And so at the beginning, I was like, why is it that he's taking me to certain places? I never really understood, but it was just for him to give an idea of who I was and who I wanted to be. And so the questions continue, even though he had already asked me why, if I was happy or not, he still asked more personal questions, such as where it was I lived and what type of computer I used. So I continued to send him pictures of where I lived, my one bedroom home with my lovely parents. I lived in the living room. And my old beat up computer that I showed him with throughout high school, it was annoying. But after I sent this, I never really understood why it was he wanted these pictures. And it's because he mentioned my story to other people. And it was other people who were willing to go out of their way and actually help me and pushed me to my limits. And this man right here um, was one of his friends who actually heard about me and decided to donate a computer to me. And at the moment, I was like, why is it people that are donating stuff to me? I felt like a charity case. But I mentioned that to him, and he said, you're not a charity case. It's all investment, and you'll figure it out later. I never really quite understood. But then he went ahead and he told me this, because he said, eventually you'll understand the relationship of mentorship, and you'll become a mentor yourself. He said, teach the mentee about leaderships and give them responsibility. Open doors that they can not open alone. Give them a chance to show the world what they can do. I, at the moment, did not know what I could do. But once I received that computer and I cons consistently went every Thursday to that futsal program, I decided to create a futsal program myself. And so it was a point in which I wanted to give back to the community as well, but in a different way, using the same resources, but in a different way. So I decided to help um, hold meetings at the station weekly with kids from all around the city and got together and community this, and con uh, sorry, and created this project in which we would give back to the city and show them that these teens are here and willing to give back and it's not like we're just in the street roaming and being trashy. And so I actually got networking and I was able to get in contact with LA Galaxy, got them to donate stuff to my um, work and I got networking and it was amazing because we raised 1700 in less than two weeks. I had a successful tournament which we had approximately 500 people show up. And it was amazing, and it was all for dogs. I love dogs. 
And from that, I grew and grew, and I was able to do on-field actors for LA Galaxy, press box. I got to do more than I ever imagined, and it was all because of a simple question of art. And so I ended up graduating, and I was like, this is the end. This is where I need to go. I need to graduate, move on, look into college. But that wasn't where it ended. The adventures continued. I got on my first airplane ride because of this man. He made things happen. I got to go to Epcot, Disneyland. I got to smile for the first time at a football game at Fresno State, my first ever football game. And that's where I fell in love with college. Now, I applied to college and got into Fresno State, and I was the happiest person alive. I said, this is it. This is where he led me to. This is my success story. But I was scared. I was scared to go into college. I thought I wasn't financially stable. I thought I didn't have the resources to be successful. I thought it was the end again. But a woman in Florida actually heard my story once again. And she ended up emailing me and sending me $1,800. She saw potential in me and decided to invest in me. She allowed me to get a new computer an Apple Watch, and all my dorm stuff for me to be able to go to college. And so I just want to say, so many, oh, said by Robert Williams, so many kids just need positive reinforcements to believe in themselves. I once again believed in myself at that point. And I continue to um, give back to the community whenever I'm back home or here in Fresno as well. I love dogs, like I just mentioned, and it's just a great way. So many kids just need positive reinforcements to believe themselves. Yeah, to believe in self. They also need to know it's okay to fail sometimes, and that learning from mistakes is what gonna is what growth is. And it's true. I struggled so much um, putting Fun Saw events together, trying to get myself to go to school, trying to get myself to become a better person. And I had my bumps in the road, but this man literally was there to always help me, listen to me and push me. Sometimes like he would not give me the answers. Like, oh, how would I write this email? He wouldn't tell me how to do it. He would literally see me struggle and then he would come back and be like, okay, this is what you did wrong. Now this is how we're gonna fix it. And so it was amazing. Um, this is my biggest success story so far. I got to actually present an award to this man um, in Arizona. I got to teach a class about mentoring. I got to show my passion behind what it is this man showed me to be. And this is the picture that started it all. So the art of mentoring, if you can lift one person, then that person eventually will lift somebody else. It's a whole cycle. So if I, if this man just started mentoring with me, next thing you know, I will mentor somebody else. And I will be that happiness that somebody else has been missing. It's, it's all part of a support system. And so here are pictures of uh, just all the happy moments I've been able to share and like I don't think I would have had all these moments or been the person I am today because of this person and so huge thank you to my mentor and I hope I have encouraged you guys today and you guys take this as evidence that mentorship does work and maybe one day you guys could be the light the hope the happiness in somebody else's eyes thank you